Hello guys and welcome back to another match day vlog on the channel. Before I get into it though, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also like the vlog, it's massively appreciated. But yeah, Blues at home today, Blues v Hall. Let's see what we can do. Liam is back today, not with me just yet. A couple of minutes he will be though. But yeah, it's gonna be a big game today. We should get three points, we really should. Hull, not in very good form recently, obviously losing their last game to West Brom at home and recently losing to Barnsley at home as well. They did win away at Peterborough, but that is probably to be expected really. Blues, good performance last week against Bristol at home. So let's see what we could do today. It'd be massive if we can get three points. I've been confident all week. I've been 4 0 win all week. I'm going to stick with it. So yeah, I'm going to meet Liam just now, guys where he comes in from his train, so I'll catch you in a bit. Come on, Blues. People, 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 he's back. Liam, Liam well, Bartlett. Back from the dead. You're back from the dead. <laughs> Looking very uh, snazzy, to say the least, today. Matt, I just look like a twat in an Adidas top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're back. What have you been thinking about uh, Blues' recent uh, performances and stuff? Mate, to be completely honest with you, I fell out of love with the club, to be honest with you. Really? Mate, I, I, I ain't watched the Bristol Highlights. Yeah, the FNC yeah. was just heavy. I ain't watched yeah. Huddersfield. Mate, everything's shit, man. Ground, ground falling apart. We're doing shit on the field. So, to be fair, mate, you're very lucky that I'm here today. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, well, today, we won away at Bristol last week, so we played really well. You'd have loved it there. As I mentioned to you this week, but yeah, what do you reckon today? Hopefully, two one. Two one. Obviously, you're a, you're mad thinking four 0 This is our little bogey team. Nah. So I'm saying two one Blues. Honeyman will score for them. The linesmen will probably help him again. <laughs> and I reckon Hernandez and Taylor. Loyal Taylor, baby. Loyal Taylor. Whoa. Come on, Blues. Come on, Blues. Joe, you're here. Old Grandpa indeed, Joe. Indeed. How are you, mate? All right, mate. I was just saying to you off camera, it was a decent drive. Very decent drive. Looking forward to it. Yeah. You reckon, you reckon, you reckon you're confident today, or? I think we can win, yeah. I think we can win. Um, I'm going to say the same that I said the other night. 2-1 to us. Sean McLaughlin and Richie Smallwood to score. Yeah, 2-1. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> but yeah, uh, big sport today for Hull. Well, I was just saying to you, I think we brought up to sort of 1,100, 1,200. So, yeah. yeah. Hopefully you can should get a be, result then from your side of things. out. Yeah. Good luck for the game, mate. Cheers, mate. You too. And we're here, mate. Yeah. Well, you've arrived anyway. I just saw you in the Joe Eric Cupper. How are you doing today? You alright, Yeah, mate? I'm alright. I'm com confident today. Confident? Yeah. After the Bristol performance, should have been more than 2-1, but yeah, I'm confident. Yeah. Uh, Hull, of course, on bad form. We bounce back at Bristol. That gives us the edge, probably, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'd think anyway, wouldn't we? Yeah. But you never know with Blues, do you? No, nothing. Like, like I said, the line-up's unchanged. I'd, let me tell you, I wouldn't change nothing in that performance of it's Bristol. Like I said, it should be more than that. I'm just, not Hull yet. Yeah, anything could happen. Like, like all the people sitting in their stream, their away form is better than their home form. Yeah. So we've just got to see you know, how the players perform in that, really. Absolutely, mate. Score prediction for today's game? 4 0 Blues. 4 0. Me. Exactly the same as me. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be 4 0, Latte in the double, Chong and Hernandez. Right, mate. Well, keep right on. Keep right on, Blues. Come on. About 18 minutes gone, guys. Not really much happening at the moment. Paul got a corner here, so let's see what they can do. First three minutes of the game was a bit end to end, actually. Quite surprised, but nothing's really happened since. Ball's in from Paul. Crossing, headed, no. Nothing. Blue should get that away, which they do. Cleared out for a throw in. Paul clearance for from Gardner, but yeah. Nothing really happening, really. Liam, how would you sum this up so far, mate? No, I've been to more entertaining for you than to be honest. <laughs> Absolutely, well. We need the win today. If we win, put a six points clear at Hull, so come on. About 
eight minutes or so now from half time guys, Blue's got a corner here, so let's see what we can do. Let's try and maybe get one look for half time. As you can see guys, we are now into the second half, so let's see what we can do. We need to set it up, so come on. Good chance there for Hull City, nearly got a goal from that. Uh, Blues fans aren't happy with this performance so far today, it's been poor really, but yeah. But look at our points, let's see what's going on this. Over halfway of this second half done guys. It's really poor this game. It's both teams have been poor today. It's just been such a boring game. Never thought I'd say that today, but yeah, been poor. Really, really poor. I just lost the words. It's boring really. Blues not really attacked greatly today. You would have thought that with the way we attacked at Bristol, we would have been a lot more on it than we are today. So yeah. Liam, what do you reckon? Hey, Blues are gonna hit this. They could do, we've got a chance here maybe, Graham does enough, but yeah, still nil-nil on guys. Good attack from Paul there guys, Blues again, just nothing today really, Paul probably come for a point and they're going to get that so probably going to be the happy of the two teams, with about three minutes still stopping time. God knows how much it'll be, but yeah, we need to get a goal in these last few minutes, otherwise, yeah, it's a bit poor today. Charlie's not been at it today, the whole team's not been at it, but yeah, come on. Liam, nil nil. Your thoughts on that game, mate? Pretty poor, ain't it? <sighs> mate, it was a battle of who was the worst team, and we even drew that as well. Um, created a few chances, didn't take any chances today. We had literally when Taylor with a flick on that got cleared off the line. Apart from that, nothing. We, we struggled to create chances out to come with a game plan to frustrate us, which is exactly what they did. Probably a better point for them than it is us, but we go again on Tuesday. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the attacking display at Bristol was decent. I, I know you weren't there, but it just shocked me today, really, that we didn't even attack. Even Chong wasn't at it today, was he? Mate, to be fair, that's the worst I've seen Chong since he's, since he's uh, signed, and that's even when we played Forest at home, he was poor then. But, you know, he's still maybe ma uh, lacking that bit of match fitness, so he'll be, he'll be up to speed very soon. But it is what it is. Obviously, their game plan was to frustrate us all game, put five men behind the ball. They did it well, we've got to give it to them. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. So, yeah, Middlesbrough on uh, Tuesday. Quick review of that. You confident or not? To be fair, did, did they draw today or they've lost? Uh, yeah, yeah, they drew um, away at Middlesbrough. Nil, I mean, Millwall 0-0. Nil, nil. So, with, uh, with Chris Wilder in charge, they're always a team that you don't feel confident playing against. I reckon they'll come back, they'll come to ours and they'll do a job on us. One thing I will say, it's the best we've looked attacking wise in a long time, but defensively, even though Mark Roberts today, I know he's sticky gets man of the match for me, kept us in the game numerous times. It's just one of them, if, the, if we can improve the defence as we do the attack, next season looks look, looks brilliant if we can get the, the signings that we need. But it all depends on whether the board going to back Boya and Gardner. If they do, obviously, on El Hernandez has to be the first name on the list. He has to sign. He's unreal. Even in a poor side today, he was our best player. Um, but yeah, looking for, as you say, going to Middlesbrough. I wouldn't say I'm not confident, but I'm not. I'm not confident, but I don't think. I'm not, I'm not going to go into it saying we, we're going to get the win because we're definitely. We'll struggle. Yeah, definitely. So, we're going to get our trains back now. See you Tuesday for Middlesbrough at home, mate. Do we have to? <laughs> Keep right on, mate. Keep right on. <laughs>